Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, life for all of you. Today in America, the news that's covering everything again is about our ex-president, Donald Trump, number 45. The argument that uh, Republicans give against the Democrats is that Joe Biden, President of the United States, is corrupt. That everything associated with the government under Biden is corrupt. Now this is what is being presented to the American people. Now, is there evidence to support this claim, we don't know. If it is, it has not been shown. These are just words coming out of someone's mouth as most of us see it. On the other hand, they say Republicans are exactly what is being said by the Republicans about Democrats. Corrupt as sin can take it. Now, the Republicans disavowed that statement. And yet, Democrats come before the American people with what they call evidence. Now, evidence usually will support or not. And so they bring it with the intention of supporting. And so we have the American people who have heard a statement made without support, without evidence. And you have statement made with evidence, with support. Now, it would appear that that would be an easy decision to make about which way to go. But all of that is really predicated on your training, on your indoctrination. If you have been always taught that a lie is the truth, that lie will always be the truth to you until some miracle occurs. And so what we hear coming from the Republicans and what we hear coming from the Democrats is an expression of a confused nation. A confused nation, which basically indicates it doesn't really matter what happens in the courts. I mean, these things will happen. What happens when you go to the polls? The results will be a decision made out of nothing but confusion. And what the people have experienced their entire existence on this earth is continuing with no change in sight. Wherein comes the message about the straight and narrow, not being a part of the group, not being a part of Broadway. You heard the song down on Broadway? Well, no. Nah. The straight and narrow is not listening to white folks, not listening to black folks, not listening to men, alpha, or, or women. No, not listening to that stuff. Because you find out that each of them got different opinions, different conclusions, different outcomes, all of that. And none of them work for everyone. Might work for this group, or that group, or this prejudice, or that prejudice, but nothing works for everyone. And this is where our life experience has been, in these bodies, on this earth, during our time. But the message come, you got the power to change. But in order to change, you got to know the truth. The truth empowers you to be miraculous. The truth empowers you to do what you've never even thought you could do. The truth enables you to walk the waters. The truth enables you to go into a fiery furnace. The truth enables a trigger to be pulled and yet nothing happens. The truth, my friends. Where is that truth? It comes from the truther. Where is that? the creator, the universal creator. I call it God. And the communication, 
I call the spirit. To whom is able to receive it, which requires, just like any radio, any television, you've got to have a frequency that connects. And what it is required of the human beings to connect with the spirit of God is a pure heart. A pure heart. A heart that's searching for the truth. A heart that wants to know the truth. A heart that wants to be the truth. That heart is receptive to that spirit that will lead and guide. And the evidence will be known by the steps that are made by one led by such a spirit. And so when you see people say, they, they, and no one got any solutions, then what you're actually having is a confused people ready to empower either or. Yet, the spirit of love says, you got a choice. If you allow the spirit of love, of God, to guide you, take you into all truths, no lying, do you do or accept? No cheating, do you do or accept? No deceiving, do you do or accept? No hatred, racism, and bigotry. Let me give you an example, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'm going to cut this short. I hope I got enough time. Somewhere it has been said that thou shalt not commit. And if you got some children around that you feel this conversation, this little analogy that I'm going to refer to sex is, is inappropriate, then maybe you want to turn this off and listen at it another time. Or maybe clear the space so you can listen to it. You've heard the expression, thou shalt not commit adultery or fornicate. Now these two things have been to do with sex. One has to do with sex after you're married and going outside of that marriage, they want to call that adultery. Or having sex prior to marriage and they want to call that fornicating. And they say, don't engage in these acts. Now, for the human race, we know there might be one or two people that follow that principle, but the rest of the world does not. Burning like a fireplace. Nevertheless, to obey these two, uh, thou shalt not, has its benefit. And let me tell you what it's like. What happens if you, man or female, does not fornicate? You got all you can imagine about the sexual acts. And then the time comes, whatever it, that time is and whatever causes it to happen, you bring yourself to that moment when you are married. You are stating to one another that you are one. And let's say you have the experience to engage in sex, something that you perhaps have never done before. And it has its value. Is it absolutely fantastic overwhelming by whose judgment? Is it nothing by whose judgment? Right now, you got your introduction into sex. Now, where you can go with that, as far as I can see, is unlimited. Or that can be up or down. But it's you. Every day, every time is your time. Every day, every time means something to you. That's the best there is until tomorrow comes. After tonight, you will say, wow, that's even better. Or wasn't so. But anyway, there you are. All right. Let's say, what would that do? Look at the peace, the harmony that exists the order that exists. But now let's just say that for some strange reason, each party finds some excuse 
to go out and now that you're married, let's say commit adultery. You know, there's an expression that goes, say, things are so good when you're still in it. The grass is so green, so green on the other side. And all of these are grabbing you, messing with your mind, imagination, got you thinking, well, should I? Who's the alpha man that's daring, that's bold to step on out and try things to see and cause them all kinds of wonderful things to happen? Yeah, they are so wonderful. And here we are. You go out. What happens? All of a sudden, let's use the man for an example. The man goes out and commits adultery. And he finds all of a sudden that this is something that's different than what he has been used to. And it has its uniqueness. It brings a new understanding to this woman. Could be tighter. Could be just more satisfying. Okay. Now... You got that experience that you didn't have before. And let's say it's the woman she engages in. And all of a sudden, something that she has never experienced before. I mean, her man has never been like this. This is something different, and it will never be like this. And so, same thing happened to her, happened to the man. This is wonderful. Now you're confused. Now you found reasons to cheat. I mean, this you already cheated, but this is something that causes all kinds of stuff to happen. Why? Because you stepped outside of the perimeters of truth. And you know the rest of the story. I don't have to tell you anything else about that. But even so, let's say when you um maybe not married. Somebody say, well, let's fornicate so we'll know what's happening before we get into it. So what you're doing? You're just going around having sex with everybody, trying to figure out this and figure out that. And you know good and well the same thing is going to happen. You're going to have somebody, man or woman, that a different person will bring about a different outcome. And since you're doing this, you know you're not restricted you try stuff and you have the chaos that we have in the world you know perhaps if this like you can think maybe this what this analogy that's been shared with you proves itself just in words but there are those who've experienced this who just won't be able to stop and yet they will go to church and to those spiritual uh gatherings and proclaim, profess to be all of this and all of that. And see, this is, again, the evidence that truth wants to share with you that regardless of what you're saying, we're all in this hell. And this is hell because all of these things are going on. One thing that is not going on is truth and the things of truth, which is known by the evidence, truth that have evidence. All we got is chaos. People don't even know where the love is, <laughs> but they want to talk about. So what you got, my friends, is the opportunity, whoever you are, wherever you are, to let the love of God shine. Now, I can recognize what I have been given to do. I do not have the right to tell you that you should be doing what I am doing. That is the beginning of that continuous sin. I can tell you where my faith is, where my power comes from, and walk according to that. You can hear me say what I say, and obviously you're going to watch, especially if it's that good stuff I say. And as you watch and you see the shiningness that has been missing in life, you see people actually doing stuff that cares about other folks, and you can't question it. And even when those that try to question it look stupid, we're trying to question it. You see, that's the light of God shining so nobody can pretend and this is right there evident. 
And so those who are observing can either say, well, or not yet. But you, my friends, have already made the choice. And this is your evidence. This is your evidence that you have come to this hell. Just like everybody else. You have come through this hell. Just like everybody else. And by virtue of the system, spiritual system set up, that is open to every human being that will, can, and does, the truth sets you free. You become a light like the stars in the sky in the middle of the night when it's dark as can be. There you are shining for all to see how much darkness is all around but yet the light still shines and it's shining bright. And it's really shining bright when you, when the rules of people want to get rid of you and say you got to go. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen.